Hello, Papa. Can't help but notice. Oh. Yeah, what is up with that? Let me see. That's Bombadilla. <clears throat> Bombadilla. Yeah. And he looks thrilled. Oh my God. I mean, are you kidding me? The poor boy was wearing a dress. So these are just some other outfits. What is that? It's a strawberry He's outfit. He's a strawberry. Yeah, poor. he could be a strawberry. As if it wasn't bad enough to see Bombadilla dressed up in a dress in that picture. This is like a little tiara here. Inside the bag, it was like my worst nightmare. You're going to be a little strawberry. Look how cute you are. Let's call it a day on the strawberry. OK. Because right now, I need to recover. Oh. No wonder Bombadil's been acting out. Cats shouldn't wear clothes. Now, look, I'll cut a sphinx a pass because they have no fur whatsoever, can't regulate their body temperature. Sometimes they need a sweater. Bombadil does not need a sweater. This could turn them into a hyper-aggressive cat. The other problem we have is with Tim. He is spraying all over the house. Did Timmy's peeing happen around the same time? Uh, yes. So the whole house has crumbled from normalcy, and you have no idea why. No. We've tried everything and anything to get this situation resolved. I even investigated the house to see if there was some kind of paranormal activity here. <laughs> Wait, hold on. So you go ghost hunting? I do. I do. Seriously? Yeah. So I try to be careful on investigations and not have anything come home with me. But there's something out there for sure. We actually investigated this house. And although there was some activity, it wasn't really conclusive. We're going back. <laughs> no, I'm serious, because I want to rule out all possibilities here. Have you ever seen your cat just staring at a wall before, and you think they see something that you don't see? Probably true. Cats are so energetically tuned in, it's not even funny. So when you talk about paranormal activity in a home and how it affects cats, I'm game. I am totally on board with that. Those are the only attacks on animals in this house? Would Daisy and Lily attack Daisy for no reason? Why does she attack him, then? Yeah. We don't know. That's what, you know. Wow. For me, being psychic, I could tell the energy, something was drastically off. Let's back up. <laughs> so, uh, you're psychic? Yeah, I read animals and people. But Lily, I can't read her. I cannot communicate with her at all. I just get a complete disconnect. Just seems Everybody like Everybody else you're fine with? Oh, yeah. OK, this is definitely a first. I've never had a pet psychic for a client, and I have no idea if she can really channel information from animals into the human world. But I'd like to think that she must have some kind of insight into her own cat's bad behavior. Who does Lily have a closer relationship with? I'd be me. I talk baby talk to her. It was a little key cat. That, and she'll totally to turn on to that. Now, it may sound silly, but cats are no different from humans. They're really responsive to soft tones. It has a calming effect on them. Options for Lily. What about rehoming her? Well, we had talked about because her parents have a place out in the wilderness. I can't. I could never let Lily go. Of course we love her, and we just want her here and not hurting us. <laughs> Um, can I pass out the invitations? Wait, 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 hold on a second. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Somehow, after me asking Vina very passionately not to dress her cat up again, she thought it was okay to stage a wedding. And he is hating life. After our talk, what made you think that that was OK? We had already set it up, and the invitations were sent. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> and the presents had been bought. It's a lot worse than I thought. You are a crazy cat lady. It's only something a crazy person would do. <laughs> so we got a cat living in a closet. What leads me here now? He started to come around, and everything was great. But then my mother moved here, and that's when all hell broke loose. He started to go to the bathroom under my bed. I put everything under there to block the bed. And it then it was nightmare. just put two litter boxes for Blackie. And? He uses the one in the corner in But some... he does use a litter box. Yep, 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 yep. But, I, but the door shut. But he is back to using a litter box. Yes. So the current situation is very different. We're not dealing with the pee and poop thing. So you guys are copacetic now no. in terms of the... No, no. I have a theory. 
she hates cats. No, I don't and the hate cat, cats. And the cat and Blackie's picking up on it. First That's place. not true. And, and then she makes me wear these crazy That's... gloves with cat written yeah, on them she's... that she wrote with nail polish. She's... Hang on, pump your brakes, oh. Shorty. Um, I'm not Those allowed to. Breaks. I'm, I'm not allowed to open cat food around her because it makes her gag. I'm tired now. I don't want to be eating larva and stuff. Oh, larva! There's no larva. larva. She was never this wacky. She even put holy water around the house. I did. I was. I'm ready to cry. It was, you never yeah. saw such a disaster. Like in this. Your life. I come around the corner. I get a snoo full of holy water. Father, spirit. She thought Blackie was possessed. It's like an exorcism. Did you have any interaction with Blackie when, when you... No, I kept my door shut because I don't like cats sleeping on my bed. You don't like cats? I don't like I cats. I like cats. Ooh. I got that part. Well, I came back to join Pat, who is a ghost hunter, to rule out any paranormal activity that could be affecting the cat's behavior. Hey, anything's possible. It's possible that Harold saw something paranormal when he was with Ninja and is now redirecting aggression onto her because of that experience and our ghost hunting went a little something like this. Watch your step jacks, it's really steep. This is like not where I want to be. If there's someone down here, can you let us know by making a loud sound in the room? Oh God, what the hell? What was that? Did you hear something? Yeah, I told, you didn't hear that? No, I didn't hear it. That's great. <laughs> no, what was that? I don't know, Same. Make Maybe it go away. There. Let's see if there's any hot spots in the room. Is there anything near me? So far, no activity. OK. Well, hopefully that's good, because it means that your advice can help us, and it's not something paranormal. Now, that was the scariest homework that I have ever participated in, but at least we can say there are no ghosts. Well, I adopted this cat about six months ago. You got it from the shelter? Yes. Have you had cats before? Yeah, I grew up with cats all oh. my life. You know, as a kid, my grandmother, we have a colony of cats in the backyard. so. Oh, a colony. Yeah, we got a lot of cats. I mean, the problem is that Chris is doing nothing. He's just letting her run rampant without offering her anything in return. Ever since I got her, man, she won't listen to me. How old is she? I adopted her when she was a baby. Hey, look, Chris has a huge heart, that you can tell. He took a kitten out of a high kill shelter here in LA. He wanted to give that cat a good home, and he has. However, we want to make it so the rest of that cat's life is a good one. What the hell is that, Chris? Call it. Is that like a turkey tin? Hell yeah. Uh, um, wow, man. So we're starting from square one here. So I said, hey, let's go Thanksgiving. If that could hold a 45 pound turkey, it could hold else's turd. If you've got to ask me why a cat doesn't want to go in a turkey pan, you should get a fish. <laughs> well, that's kind of an easy fix, man. I mean, it's called a litter box. We, 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 should, we should introduce you to one, man, because that, that, uh, that's never going to work. Number one, it's too small. Number two, it's made of metal. So when she goes to scratch it, that feeling, the fact that you are so lucky that she's using the litter box, man. The fact that she's done him the favor by pooping and peeing in that turkey pan is a cat miracle. Are you ready? OK. Jackson wants me to put the harness on. I don't know, I'm a little nervous. You gotta do it when you're not trying to chase Can after him. Yeah, let him, okay. Go, now okay. go. Nice. I just wanna like practice in my mind. Yeah. Yes, you want those two side? Chrissy, he's fine. Pick him up, bring him back over here. He's really f mad though. It's, no, I don't he's know not. if this is a good time. Are you sure? No, I don't think he is mad. I think part of my hesitancy when our relationship is due to Chrissy's uh, nerves. Yeah, he's mad. Chrissy, I'm not <laughs> gonna let this rest. She's got to pick him up and get it together. You're acting as if you don't know him. I'm just scared. I've really seen Frankie hurt people. He's a little confused right now, but he's not mad. His eyes aren't dilated and his ears aren't back. Really, he's fine. But Come here. Right, okay. exactly. Bring him right over go. here. Can probably fix it a little bit. Exactly. Now. now let's fix it. Keep moving. You're doing beautifully. It's good. Let's fix that one under his head now. Oh. Chrissy, I'm holding him. Okay. Frankie, go. we're gonna just do this really quick, honey. How am I not afraid of him and you are? Because Cr my Chrissy, hand's near his mouth. Move. Uh oh. Listen, 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 listen. Can we do this, bud? Here we are. That's my wow. boy. Good boy. Good. That's my good boy. boy. Good and now he's you did in. You good. Chrissy, you're the problem. <laughs> okay, I'm not even kidding right now.
So of all the good stuff I saw with Blackie, there was a lot of tense little moments where you're trying to accomplish something with Blackie and, and, and Patty, you're being a little on top of the situation. The dynamic I'm seeing between Patty and Catherine, too much direction giving, too much noise and static. She's very possessive well, of him. You know, it's it's like the helicopter mother. Takes one to no one and the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. The crab apple. I gotta be perfectly honest with you. We had a couple little fights. She thinks I'm gonna ruffle his feathers or something. You just want to keep Blackie in that room forever. That's not fair to Blackie. Oh, no, 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 no. Patty doesn't want Blackie like anybody. She wants him all to herself. <laughs> all the brighter. You made I me sound like a cat. You made me sound like a cat freak. She's so overprotective. She's afraid he's going to have a breakdown he or was... something. I know you were trying, but you're not comfortable ceding control of the situation to anybody. Patty is a control freak with her animals. She never stops. Just because I felt like he got scared, and I know how much he can take. If it's overstimulation, he's out of there. What I'm concerned about right now is not Blackie. I I'm concerned about you. Me and Elsa, we had a little huddle. We had to talk for a minute. I gave her instructions. I gave her new rules to run by in the house. So. Pass cattle one on one with flying colors. I know when Jackson comes back, he's gonna be very happy. What is up, man? Jackson Galaxy, what's going How you on, been, man? I'm feeling good. Look All at right. that. Yeah, I had to go with the old Look school at that, Jackson man. Side Burns. I I am not easily flattered, man. But but that that's pretty damn. What the hell do you do to yourself? That's the cat. Uh, that's the claws right there. <laughs> Had to represent for the cat guru himself. <laughs> I got the magical Jackson Burns going, so Elsa really respects him. 